reaching out to people I know who are in, who are already working. Maybe they have a job opening. You never know. Um, talk to my my boss because we, you know, I, I had a really good rapport with my my boss. So he said, hey, if we, if we find anything else in our company, we'll we'll call you definitely. Uh, and check this out. Like I'm, this is how aggressive I am. I'm going through every single, all the top job aggregators, Monster, Dice, LinkedIn, all of them, including some that, you know, that have been affected for me. And I'm having my spouse help me. Like we're going through one line by line, every single resume. So that's my job now is to find a job. I don't know if this is going to work. To be honest, this is this has not happened before. I don't know if this is gonna work. I am stressed and nervous. It's right before Christmas. This is this is the worst possible situation that could have happened. Uh, so I really don't know what's gonna uh, about to happen. Luckily, you know I have some cash saved up. I've got I've got some. Luckily, I, I have some side hustles and stuff that I do. So that that pulls in a little bit of money and stuff. So I'm all right. Like we'll be all right. But it's just not like I didn't plan for this. I didn't know it was gonna happen. And um, I've never been in a situation like that. Normally, if the company is gonna lose the contract, they know like months in advance. They know like. One month in advance, they're like, "Hey, we're bidding for this contract. We we're pretty sure we're gonna get it, but just in case, we're letting you guys know." In this case, there was no doubt that they were gonna get it. There was no problems, and it's the government. The U.S. government had just at the top level just said, "Nope, we're not doing that anymore." It really doesn't make any sense. So it's kind of like something really shady is going on, and I have a feeling it's it's something political. So, uh, uh, I don't know, it's the first part of the series, and um, going line by line, but all, all kinds of job opportunities out there on sites and applying, and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, yeah, this one's good. This is um, 55, 6, 75 an hour. Yeah, try that one. But Quick apply. I'm unavailable for, for smart, smart apply. apply. Yeah, but... It just means we'll be have a couple extra steps when we apply for this one. So just go ahead. So our, our technique is uh, to go to quick apply. There's a feature inside of job aggregators that allow you to do a quick, a quick apply. So I'm going through the list of each one of those and applying to as many of those as that line up to my qualifications with their qualifications, what I can do for them. And then apply 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 right yeah it's not really. oh yeah so so that's our technique because it's a numbers game so the more the more jobs you apply this is one thing i've noticed in my many years of doing this you know back to back jumping from one job to another not not that i've wanted to but i'm a contractor so contract runs out something happens got to go to another job right and sometimes they'll retain me, put me on another contract, but I'm still a contractor uh, for the government. So it's a numbers game. What I've learned is whenever you're applying for opportunities, you the more volume, and it can't just be anything. Like if you're just applying for any old job, that's not going to do. That's not good enough. And I think that's what a lot of people do is just apply for any job that they're not even qualified for. A bunch of jobs that you need a secret clearance or whatever and you don't have that it's that's just a waste of your time and in their time so it's really important to go through it and match what you do with what they have what they require as much as possible so you want like a hundred of those and not six or seven hundred of just random stuff and so that is what we're doing right here going through line by line and if if she has a question for me, I'm, I'm sitting right there, right beside her, and I'm going through and uh, going through myself one by one of each one resumes. And she's on a whole nother tab going through all the different uh, job uh, the job listings. So that's we'll see how it works, see if it's this does any good, and I'll let you guys know. All right, so we've been doing this for about, well, about 45 minutes, an hour. We've been doing this for about an hour, 
right? Um, about an hour and uh, we applied for a whole bunch of jobs and I've already gotten contacts. We'll see how this goes, but I'm about to get a call in like a few minutes. That, that's how fast this worked. Um, I got an email from someone and they sent me more of the job description, whole separate job by the way. And I and I, once I saw more of the job description of what they wanted, I was like, well, this isn't, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm a good fit for this. So boom, move on to the next one. But while that's happening, I got another call, I mean, a, a message, a text message from one of the jobs that we applied to and they're about to contact me. So that's going to be my first, it looks like it's going to be my first interview, but we'll see. It's like a screening interview. Okay, we're going to keep going here.